Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get right to it. Now, first off, I want to say I had a person I've been talking to on Twitter trying to help me uh, make things a little bit better here at the Big Ranch Show. Suggest making my videos somewhere five minutes and under. So we're going to try for that in the next few videos and see what happens. But anyhow, let's get to the story right quick. California. Have you heard about the crazy teacher in California who started cutting te um, students' hair for absolutely no reason? There's a video showing that this teacher going crazy on this students. This one student, she asked him to sit down and made like she was joking around. And she decided she would take a lop off, you know, start lopping off pieces of his hair. At which point he gets up after after she lops off a few pieces and starts singing the Star Spangled Banner real loudly and throwing it behind her back like it's some you know you know some piece of salt or something. I guess you could say. I mean, there used to be an old uh, wives' tale thing where you would throw salt over your your back for good luck or whatever. And well, this woman cut this guy's hair and he got up. And then she demanded he sit back down. She started trying to do it again until he, you know, then he left again. Then it goes on to her later on walking around the classroom holding these scissors. And basically costing other students and grab this other girl by her hair to cut it. Now a lot of the students apparently, they thought she was joking at first. Because apparently when she entered the classroom, she claimed that it was hair cutting day. And one kid said um, that he thought... Um, this teacher was um, just joking. It says one student who one student who spoke on condition of anonymity, anonymity told local news KFSN that we think she's going to be funny and be like, "Oh, did you really think I was going to cut his hair?" But then she goes on to do it, and at which point you know she starts acting crazy. The students start becoming a little par paranoid, and they start running out of the classroom. Um, Margaret Geisinger was charged with six counts of, let's see, one count of false imprisonment, two counts of cruelty to a child, two counts of battery, and one count of assault. If found guilty on all six charges, she would serve up to three and a half years in prison for this, this, out, this outburst of whatever it was. According to students, she had had another break during the week, and she had, you know, been kind of cuckoo earlier in the week. But her husband says he doesn't understand what what happened. He says he's still trying to figure it out for himself, so he doesn't know what happened. It's not her. It's not who she is. So I don't know what's going on with her. I don't have any clues as to why she did this. So really, what do you do? I mean, what what is going on here with people? What makes people think it's okay to act like this? Because if the students are accurate in them saying that she entered the classroom with those scissors in hand, claiming she was going to start cutting people's hair, clearly it had nothing to do with the actions going on in the classroom that morning. Is this a case of mental illness striking somebody, or, or is it just a case of a teacher going, going nuts? And I don't mean in a mental illness sense. I mean just going going bonkers for no reason. I think there has to be more to the story. I think there has to be more to why she did this. I don't know if there's a medication issue. I don't know what it is. But she has lost her job. And I hope they get to the bottom of why she did this. I hope she gets the help she obviously needs. But those students should not have had to deal with this. And that woman should not be a teacher anymore. You know, if you're going to do that to kids, you have no business teaching them. That's no different, you know, that's no less than abuse. I don't care if they're teenagers, I don't care what they said, and I don't care how the class has treated you or acted in the past. You're, a, you're supposed to be a professional. I know many teachers, and not one of them would harm their students. Anyhow, this has been the Big Ranch Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck, and I'll see you down the road. By the way, please join us on Patreon.